It's a painstakingly slow process. There have been few jury trials since the start of the pandemic, but court officials say justice will be served. So we have to balance both the constitutional right to a jury trial and the safety in a pandemic, a, a pandemic that can result in death. I never thought I would have to be balancing those things. Judge Tina Nato says that there is a complicated 30-page set of safety metrics that she consults before giving a trial the green light. Superior Court trials resumed with a pilot program in Cheshire County in August. Since then, eight trials have been held in four courts, but more are scheduled for other courts starting next month. And just waiting, waiting, waiting for the case to be resolved is a really difficult thing. Albert Schur says courts should consider releasing more defendants on bail pretrial. But even if that were to happen, he still sees constitutional speedy trial issues. It's hard for them to move forward in their life. It's hard for them to get jobs. Uh, it's, uh, that's a harder problem in that uh, there's not much the court can do about it. What the law says is when you are in something like a pandemic that is beyond the control of the state or the court, then that factor does not weigh heavily against the state. It does not weigh heavily in favor of a speedy trial violation. Judge Nato says a judge must balance many factors when considering bail, including the safety of the public. Reporting live, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.